so um, I don't have my right glasses, so I'm going down here so I can see. But everything I'm going to say has made money. This is tested work, and I know, and it can predict tipping points. So it's going to be a theoretical talk, but we know that money matters, so see money. So I am Heidi. I am a scientist. I am an engineer. I've invented many, many things, but I am a girl. And right now we think of girls, oh, poor girls, they can't get into science. I'm going to show you that's the difference that made me allow to solve some very hard problems. So my talk is about how the scientific method is broken and why girls fixed it. Yeah, you heard that. And girls fixed it. But the important thing is that everything we're doing in AI is based on the scientific method. So if that's broken, we got a problem. All right? And look at I spelled science wrong. Shit. Well, anyway. Now let's get to the big picture. Who cares if science is broken? Come on, screen. We care because it means that we're missing the critical data that we need to actually turn this planet around. It means that we cannot differentiate what data will lead to our collapse or our growth. It means that we're going to fight nature, not fix it. So where did science come from? Science came from modeling using our outside senses, what we could describe about nature. That's all it is. Science came along and said, feelings aren't fact. The outside senses know what's true. And we created a language based on that. Guess what? The outside senses isn't our only sensory system. What I show is that the inner thing, our gut and intuition, is a critical sensory system. And without that, we are running blind. We are agents of our own destruction, and we're taught to repress that. So what's going on in our gut and intuition or the inner mind, which men could not model, is actually trying to tell us how to create and live in a world where we know how to actualize. We know what's going to enhance our genetic system. So this inside senses is actually critical data we need. It's universal truths that are vital to our own evolution. And so forget about what we're modeling. What we need to do is in that data is the universal understanding of nature we need to actually design a world where we're optimized. How much optimized? 96% of the information we need to actually build a world we can live in is missing. Our human mind is the technology. It's not the technology computer. So where did I learn this? At Princeton. Here I thought, oh, yay, I'm here. But everything I felt my male peers did not. And I thought, oh my God, they made a mistake by accepting me. And then with science, I would feel things. And if I went on them, I could prove new theorems. But everything in my gut, nature told me, oh, that's just you, Heidi. So I found myself at odds with the scientific method. Nature told me my feelings were in fact. But if I went on them, I could do great things. But what they don't tell you is that when science was created, they left women out. They decided that we were far too emotional to include in what man could model. This is really important. We were left out. The female instrument was denied the access to participate in the design of science because our emotions would, like, were far too subjective. This is really important. This is the beginning. This is the original sin. This is where bias starts. So here I am. I said, well, I need some other male, female brains because I'm only around male brain. So what I did is I grabbed the first all-female from around the world, 1,500 girls, the female peer group, the only one, and I redid the experiments that men did and because I wanted to be statistically relevant. I'm not weird. You just left some stuff out. So I got girls from around the world, and we modeled how we perceived the world. Guess what? We modeled what we felt, not just what we saw. Holy shit. You know what came up? M field, string theory. We, the inner mind, is actually the advanced equations that quantum theory is trying to describe. We showed that our inner minds are modeling things are multi dimensions, and we're told to deny all this data because, gosh, feelings are fact. So, anyway, what we did is we created a language of that. Yeah, of the math. Yeah, that's girls creating a language and a math, a new science, all this missing data. So, and it is so powerful. It aligns with our DNA codes. It can predict tipping points. It's unbelievably powerful. That's, we are, the inner brain, we've denied our own intelligence. And with this knowledge, we can create a good world. Without it, we're screwed. And we're going to donate our new extension to science back to humanity 
and we're looking for people to help us.